Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading for the month of February 2019. Uh, this month, if you want to catch me live, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification icon. I go live every day at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, also, if you're coming to this video for another sign because you can't find it, uh, just click on the channel, click on videos. I upload all the videos at exactly the same time. Uh, YouTube has just been hiding random signs on my channel. So, uh, there you go. But anyway, uh, Aries, you start off with the Seven of Hearts and the Five of Clubs here. So I feel like for some of you, you're hoping for more security. Now, this has been coming up the past two months. Um, I, you know, so I feel like a lot of people are just really focused on, um, I feel like a lot of people are just focused on creating more security in their lives or just creating things that are more secure, more secure jobs, more secure relationships, whatever the case may be. Uh, for some of you, I feel like this is talking about going on an adventure that could lead to more security. This adventure could be something like moving and then you find love in the future, you know, because of a move, or it could also be that love. You know, just in general could represent love being an adventure for you or um, love being kind of some sort of uh, path that you have to go down uh, with these two cards here. And sorry about that. My camera went out there for a second. But uh, these cards could also represent friends and a lot of you could be dealing with friends. Now, this card is socializing for love. So I would say if you want love, socializing would be a good idea. Uh, next, you have the Jack of Hearts. I do feel like some of you could be dealing with a water sign in your life. Uh, let's see here. I feel like for some of you, this definitely could be love. I feel like also for some of you, it could just be a friend again with that five of clubs in the beginning. Uh, for some of you, it could be separated away from this person, or you are separating away from this person, or there is just some sort of distance. I don't know. I feel distance here. Normally, I would say this card would represent a breakup, but I mean, I feel like maybe for some of you, you are going through a breakup, but I also feel like for others that you could have a partner where there is just distance or, you know, that your partner is being distant in some way. And uh, kind of weird message. I mean, these cards are very positive. The rest of the cards you have, but I don't know. I feel weird about these two. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out what it is. But again, for some of you, I feel distance with a partner. I feel like it will clear up as well is what I'd say there. And um, so yeah, I would, ju I would just uh, kind of go with the flow as far as relationships are concerned. For some of you, I do feel like this could be new love coming in after a breakup as well. Uh, and for more of you, I feel like this could be talking about health with all these. You have a lot of cards that could represent changes in health, positive changes in health, you know, health moving in the right direction for you as well. Uh, next, you have the Joker and the Seven of Spades. So I feel like some of you need to uh, take a leap of faith. This is like fears, and this is a card of needing to overcome those fears as well. Seven of Spades is internal fears that don't don't exist but it could also represent like new opportunities for you as far as relationships are concerned you know like some of you could be getting married you have two marriage cards in a row showing up here and maybe that is a leap of faith for you or um you know maybe you are taking a relationship to the next level maybe that's a leap of faith for others this could represent taking a leap of faith at work you could say that maybe you are getting a raise or a promotion or having to take on extra responsibilities to you know be more successful but again maybe there's like a lot of pressure or like like i said a lot more responsibility involved with taking on whatever it is that you're taking on uh for others i feel like this is is talking about messages. I feel like you have been preparing to hear something from somebody. I feel like you will be hearing from somebody. For some of you, I, I don't know, I get this like weird message, friend coming back from the past. I don't know. I feel like it's just a friend. I don't think it was ever love or anything like that. But for some of you, I feel like maybe you lost a friend. A friend walked away from you or there was some sort of change in a friendship. And I feel like for some of you, uh, this person could be coming back. I feel like that's important for some reason. So there you go. Uh, for others, this would represent a, a important message. Like I said, seven of spades. It could be about work and you could be hearing that you're getting a raise or a promotion or something like that. Uh, next, you have the ace of diamonds and the queen of diamonds. So new direction at work. Same thing. Uh, this is a card called the crossroads. This is a card of a new path. They both kind of represent paths at work or paths. Uh, paths through business, this would represent needing to pick a new path, the Queen of Diamonds here. It would say that you have a choice here to go down the same old path or to go down a new path. So I feel like a lot of you need to go down a new path. Uh, this could be in regards to, you could be starting a business, starting a new job, um, you know, having a job plus starting a business, you know, pretty much anything. But these cards say do it. Uh, I do feel like a little bit of a delay here. So I would say if some of you have been 
uh, thinking about starting a business, I feel like you've been thinking about it, but you just haven't gotten started yet, or you haven't really put like 100% into it yet, which is fine. Like I said, maybe you can't, maybe you have a job. So it like doesn't allow you to put 100% of your effort into the business. But I do see, like, I feel like the scale is tipping the other way. So I feel like you will be putting more time into a business or into something that is important to you. Could be a personal project as well uh, that you decide to work on. Uh, for others, I am getting, uh, just looking at all, the, all these cards together, I feel like a lot of you could be focused on working on yourself as well. I feel like a lot of you could be doing uh, self-improvement type work or, uh, you know, something along those lines, just trying to make yourself the best version of yourself that you possibly can be. Uh, for others, I do feel payouts on this card as well. Yeah, I feel like some of you have been waiting for money here. Uh, I wanted to see what that next card was. So I feel like some of you have been waiting for money, maybe in a legal situation or some other type of, you know, important matter. Uh, I'm getting contracts as well. I feel like some of you could be waiting on a contract. Maybe it involves like a house or real estate or something along those lines. And I feel like there could be uh, money coming in uh, through those things as well. Uh, next, you have the Ace of Clubs and the Six of Spades. Yeah, fate. Some of you could be getting married or getting engaged with this card here. And it could be fate. It could say that the universe is kind of controlling this. Do you have two sixes? No, not yet. But uh, this card says you're on the right path. So again, if you're committed to somebody, it says that that person is probably the right person for you. Um, you know, again, if you've been in like a longer term commitment. For others, this is another card of abundance. You have a ton of abundance here, ton of ton of good things uh, coming in here is what I would say. So a lot of money potential, a lot of financial potential as well. This is also a card of like cycles closing, um, you know, things coming to an end. So, you know, no matter what you've been through, you could be just noticing that you're going on to like another level, you're transforming in some way. Six of spades, like I said, fate. It is also the card of incremental improvements. This card, I feel like it is asking you to make incremental improvements. So I feel like, you know, normally I say this card just represents incremental improvements. It just improvements that just happen, you know, but I feel like this card is saying make incremental improvements. I feel like it's asking you to do, you know, kind of work incrementally here. It's like if you're trying to get fit, it's like do one push up one day, do two the next day, three the next day. I feel like it's just like you adding things on to whatever it is that you're doing. Now, this could be in business as well. You know, I feel like it's just asking. It's like maybe one day you focus on one thing and it's like you add more work on day by day by day. And before you know it, you have a full blown business is what I would say there. And uh, finally, you have the queen of hearts and the four of hearts. Yeah, definitely a commitment in love for some of some of you, I would say. I would say that if you're with somebody and it's a positive relationship, you know, that being the important word there, uh, I feel like that there could be a deeper commitment coming in through that positive relationship. For others, I feel like change in direction right here, this could be a move. So a lot of people seem to be moving right now or thinking about moving. So some of you could be moving as well. Uh, or you could also just be getting a new job. This could, again, change in direction, just a move. It could be a move to a new job or a new, um, you know, business, something along those lines. Uh, on top of all that, for those those of you that are single definitely could be new love coming in for you is what I'd say here. This can represent new new love. It is coming up at the end of the reading, which would kind of tell me that maybe not this month. Yes. So maybe not this month, but I feel like soon uh, there will be new love coming in for you. I feel like there's delays. Yeah, I feel like there are delays in regards to love if you are single. Um, this I, f I feel this for pretty much everybody. So it's kind of, you know, as far as I'm concerned, it's an obvious message. And I, I, ju I just feel like there are delays. But I do feel like things will change once we get through this, you know, kind of through this month and start moving forward. But uh, it looks really good for you, Aries. A lot of good stuff coming up here. So thank you for watching and enjoy your month.